Welcome to the Great Pyramid at Giza. In this video we're going to go inside the Great Pyramid. We'll be making our way through the Great Pyramid and we'll be walking together for about 15 minutes. We start in the robber's tunnel and then go up through the ascending passage into the Grand Gallery and finally to the King's Chamber. Now to give you some context, I'm about 6 foot 2 inches or 188 centimeters high. We'll be using this 360 camera. It's got two lenses. It sees in all directions. Up, down, to my left, to my right. I'm telling you this because when we go through the pyramid, there are going to be some quite narrow passages that we have to go through. And you need to know this to get a scale of where we are and what's happening. We'll use this illustration of the inner layout of the pyramid to indicate where we are as we work our way through it. Let's get in and have a look around. Here we are at the entrance. This is called the Robber's Tunnel, which was dug around the year 820. There's a bit of a traffic jam here at the moment, but we will get through this in a few minutes. We're now going up the steps in this narrow shaft, which is called the Ascending Passage. Now you can see I'm kneeling here. This gives you an idea of the height of this passage. You can see the person ahead of me is bent over. I also took off my rucksack because it was just too awkward. But I'm glad I kept my hat on because that saved my head from getting bashed. We're now coming up to the entrance to the Grand Gallery. Welcome to the Grand Gallery. Anywhere that you climb in the Great Pyramid, we do this on a ramp. There are no steps. This place was not built for tourists. Now we've got people coming up and people going down this ramp in the Grand Gallery. It's really not wide enough for two people to pass. You'll notice the walls here are all plain. There's no decoration, no cartouches telling the story of the pharaohs. This is unusual because in the burial tombs in the Valley of the Kings, where most of the pharaohs are buried, the walls are covered in stories about the pharaohs and the life during their time.
We're now coming into the King's Chamber. This is really a big granite box. The walls are lined with red granite. When this was discovered originally, it was covered in black and it was actually black marble, but it was just black soot. Some scientists have said that there has been heat applied in this area, which can be seen in expansion and contraction marks and also due to the fact that the walls and floor have been glazed by heat. All the joints here are so perfect and we don't know how this mortar was made. We can't make anything as good as that mortar now. There are some theories that this pyramid was used to create electricity. So if you look up Nikola Tesla and the Great Pyramid on the web, you'll find some information about his theory on how the pyramid was used to generate electricity. It was supposedly very similar to the method he invented. Yeah, it's warm in here, as you can tell. This was filmed in late September 2023. The outside temperature was around 30 degrees centigrade or 85 degrees Fahrenheit in the morning. But it got a lot hotter in the afternoons. The acoustic qualities of the room are supposed to be excellent. We're not going to be able to hear that now, but I have seen videos and read articles where they notice the sound here resonates with the earth and with your inner being. It sounds like you've been sung in a long note. Try it if you'd like to connect with your inner self. Right, so here we go. We're going back again on our knees. Here's a guy passing us in the passage. We're coming out into the Grand Gallery. Now you see up there in the corner of the ceiling is where some explorers access the areas above the King's Chamber. They found five openings, which they called the relieving chambers. So you can see the ceiling. It's very nicely done, but it's not pretty. It's kind of industrial. Almost directly below us is the Queen's Chamber. We can't get into it on this visit, but here's an illustration of it. Its walls are limestone blocks. It's thought there was a sarcophagus in this chamber but it was removed by explorers centuries ago. I showed the entrance to the Queen's Chamber when we get to the bottom of the Grand Gallery. Here 
here's the guy coming up using an alternative route. We're now looking forward and down the Grand Gallery. It is quite a spectacular piece of architecture. It's all very well put together, but again, as I say, it's industrial. It's not pretty, but it is very functional, it seems. And this is at least three or 4,000 years old and could even be 13 to 14,000 years old. There are also other theories from Graham Hancock, who looks for alternative interpretations of history. And he reckons that the pyramids were inherited by the Egyptians from another civilization, which probably existed maybe 10,000 BCE, so that would be 12 to 13,000 years ago. You see that opening there behind those people's legs? That's the entrance to the Queen's Chamber. It's another narrow passage. Margaret, who is ahead of me, is doing sidesteps to get down this ramp. I'm crouched down on my knees and I have my backpack on this time. As we go down the passage, it's now possible to get a look at the ceiling. <laughs> Margaret is ahead of me and her husband Joe is ahead of her. And he's cracking jokes and keeping us all entertained as we go through this narrow passage. With the camera at this wide field of view, I'm looking more like a spider than anything else. Steps down there lead to the grotto, a well shaft, but it's locked off and it can't be accessed. So now we're back in the robber's tunnel and I can tell you it's good to be able to stand up again. And now we're back in the Egyptian sunshine. So the next video will be traveling along the Nile. So I'll see you then. Cheers for now. Bye.